I am today working on the front grill. The reason being is I took the Jeep apart again. I am ready for, I flat, I block sanded it one more time. Now I'm ready for three to four coats of filler primer, block sanded again. So this grill needs to be done. My fenders are not gonna have blinkers, so I do need blinkers. So I am going with the JK, um, oops, blinker. And the reason I'm doing that, two things, it gives me the look of the CJ, which I like. At this point in time, I probably should have bought a CJ. Instead of making this thing look, it would have been cheaper and quicker. But we all do it, so screw it. The nice thing is, see that connection right there? That fits that blinker. And the great thing about that is I don't have to wire it, and I'm getting rid of all the other wiring outside the fender, so I am done. When you start dealing with stuff that you are looking I, straight on it, it needs to be as close as possible and you need to take extra time so this thing has been not bite me in the butt but i want to make sure it looked right okay let me blow this off that's what she said okay now some people go farther out some people go farther in it's up to you i'm going to give you the measurements i did you decide what you want to do how i did this was first thing is i made a three inch template Okay, the three inch template, I kind of laid down and went back and forth to see where I liked it. And then I started marking off. Now, what I wound up having is not mark at two inch, and then there's a mark over there at five inch. What I wound up getting is, cause this curve edge here, and this curve edge here was kind of a pain in the ass to measure. I wound up getting one inch and two sixteenths from the bottom, one inch, two sixteenths from the top. Again, you need to do this yourself and use your templates and draw it out okay middle and i do my straight lines and you know made my little freaking zodiac sign um and put a punch in the center drilled it and that's my center of my hole now i don't have anyone filming me and i don't i can't find my tripod since i remodeled the garage um i'm looking for it but i just can't find it so i'll probably put in some b-roll or no roll at all but drilling metal really screws me and screws a lot of people you can rip the metal um break your wrist i mean this thing hates my guts one final thing is the drill bit to use if it's a three inch hole you would think to use a three inch drill bit wrong if you use a three inch drill bit um you're going to wind up it's not going to fit and you're going to wind up honing it a little bit and then that's going to add to the wandering and i did not want to have that issue on the front because this thing, if i'm taking the time to block sand this thing and I'm block sanding, already looking at highs and lows on this. If I'm taking the time to do that. I'm sure hell not going to be honing a circle out and hoping that I can get it to look good. So what you want to use is three and one eight. If you use three inch one eight, that fits in perfectly. And then I will show you how to do this. There's videos out there. So but I've seen people use three inch holes and then spend a day honing it out. And it does, didn't look right. This thing is doesn't move it's in there tight it looks like it came from the factory that way when i'm all said and done you won't know that it doesn't come from the factory that way so let me get drilling this hole and i'll be right back and show you if i made a mess and any mess you make you can fix always remember if you make a mistake 90 percent time you can fix it i ripped the metal on that one and um it bent up it kind of kicked up on me and i just finished a hole and then i hammered it out dollied it out and it's perfectly fine it's not great you can see i got a couple scrapes up here but it's not the end of the world all that will be fixed so let me go drill this out real quick okay so i'm back this hole went much easier than most other holes i've done that just sounds weird um but i just want to show you something you see how if you look at that crown you're still going to warp out the metal a little bit so you do got to be a little bit more careful with these things I've heard people put stuff behind it, but there's no way I can put anything behind there. So, see how this one's off tilted? I'm gonna show you why in a second. So this hole is pretty much damn tight. I actually might have to take a little bit of sandpaper and even make it a little bit better. But um, you need the three and an eighth. If not, you're gonna sit there forever freaking trying to grind that hole out if you use a three inch one. So the next thing we need to do is See those little notches? And we're gonna have one more thing to do after this and I'll show you how I do it. See these ribs right there? Those ribs slide down and what we're doing is then we twist it and it locks into place so it doesn't, it can't fly out. That's why I don't like having these holes really sloppy or anything because the tighter you make the hole, the better it looks and 
tighter it fit. It's like almost factory. So what I do to make these is you're going to have three of them, two bigger ears and a smaller ear. What I do is I just use a die grinder and blade. And if you look at it, that's pretty much the size of the blade. And it works for me. So how I did it was all I did was put this down there. I always off center it so that way when it falls in, you twist to the left. See, it's pretty tight. So we're going to twist that way because your plug, you have two right and a left. So this plug's here and that plug is facing this way so it's easier for the wire harness for me to work with. So all I did was push this down. Let me get this out. Put this in here for a second. And then I took my pencil, marked it there, marked it there, marked it there. But what I usually do, well I did on the other one, I'm going to take my die grinder, hit it there, and hit it there. Push it down, because this is the short ear, and then see if that lines up. If it lines up, then I'll cut that. So let me go do that real quick. Okay, there's a the final product. Before you go, I just want to say a couple things. This took me a couple of tries on the Dremel. I didn't take too much. I took a little bit off at a time. But again, just like on this one, these are nice and tight. I mean, you really have to try to pull, um, twist them to even get them out. But this has a little crown on it. Most sheet metal does have a crown on it. So I just want to show you, it's so tight in there. Did I go the wrong way? See, it just popped out. It actually will actually, I push in, I have to pull down and twist. So that's not going anywhere. A um, couple of things left on this grill I'm not going to record. I'm not going to be using this last hole, so I marked it. I'm going to weld a piece of metal, cover this hole. That way I can finish the body work because it's going to get paint and color coated all in here because you're going to be able to see it. So, um, I got some low spots, but those videos don't do too well. Leave a comment if you want to see those. I might record them and if people like it, then I'll put it out there. But this thing is getting ready. She wants to be on the road. The, she She's ready. All she needs, like I said, is primer, paint job, be put back together, gas tanks in, gas, everything's run, everything's plumbed, everything's ready other than the radiator. She wants to go. The interior's all painted up. I can just throw that in. I'll have a few videos how to paint the interior the right way. But again, you have a great day, depending on when you see it. Enjoy the summer. But don't be afraid to start these projects. You know, you can always fix your mistakes. And be honest with you, it's so rewarding to see when you finally get something done. All right, talk to you later.